Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here. Modern Warfare Mastered had a pretty big update today on the Depot side. They introduced the Operation Shamrock and Awe event, which is going to be this event that's running until April 1st. And it's St. Patrick's Day themed. Lots of new stuff to unlock. And it's a limited time event. So if you guys want to learn more about that, I'll link it down below in the description and in the cards. But they also introduced the Operation Lion Strike, which is the second edition of items into the Modern Warfare Master Depot. So I'm going to be sharing some of the new things in this and kind of just cycle through everything in the background so you guys can see it and see all the cool new stuff. And we're going to start with the things that everybody cares about the most, which is the new weapons added to the game. They added three new ranged weapons. And we'll start with the one that looks the coolest, I think, which is the D25S, which is a semi-auto sniper rifle. And it says it's effective at long range in the description. But what this reminds me of is the MSR or what was it? But it is semi-auto and there is a, the RSAS. That's what it reminds me of. The RSAS from Modern Warfare 3, which I was actually fine of that sniper rifle. So I'd like to get these things. I mean, these things are hard to get. You got to craft a lot of stuff and play a lot of Modern Warfare Master, which I haven't done myself. But, um... Something that you can get. The other weapon they added is the Mac 10, which is, I don't know if the proper name is Mac 11, but it's that, uh, you know, you know, it, everyone knows what this gun is. It's a fast firing rate SMG. They use it in Black Ops 1. I thought it was really poop in Black Ops 1. We'll be interested to see how it performs in uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. But the other range weapon they added was an LMG called the PKM. Fully automatic with high power, effective at medium to long range. And, um, yeah. I haven't actually used LMGs that much in Modern Warfare Master, so I can't talk about them that much. Maybe this one will add something that the others don't. I don't know. They also added three melee weapons. There's the Samurai, which is a Samurai sword. We have the Mechanic, which is kind of like, a, I don't, I don't, I'm just going to call it a wrench because I can't even think of the proper name right now. And then, oh yeah, all these weapons I mentioned before are only available in collections, so you have to craft everything with parts and things like that. The only weapon that is available to craft out of your parts is the Thug, which is like this meat cleaver wrench looking hybrid type melee weapon which looks like it mess you up in real life but uh, those are the uh the six new weapons that were added if we haven't already i'm cycling through the rest of the items there are actually some pretty cool camos that were added into this but even better were some of these weapon kits there's this one weapon kit i know called the challenger which actually changes the look of the weapon a lot and it makes it have like this shiny, it kind of looks like, a, I don't know, it looks really cool, I don't know how to explain it. I think the G36 is missing part of its rail on the top and it has like this nice clean color finish that I really like and I actually, I, that, I'd probably want to craft that uh, weapon kit before I even craft one of the new weapons because it looks pretty awesome. But uh, a bunch of new radicals, bunch of new camos, bunch of new characters. There's this one character called uh, Noob, and it's like uh, a guy with black paint all over his face and it's like i'm a noob he has like this mustache on him and all these little words it looks he looks like a, a, a prison gangster to be honest but it's kind of funny they're kind of poking fun at noobs but i mean a lot of these new items that kind of have a theme of like war and like anarchy or protest and like mafia kingpin gang type things i've noticed i noticed that when i was scrolling through the emblems and calling cards and i went through some of the characters and some of the uh, weapon camos and stuff and it definitely fits that theme but um i mean there's not really much else for me to talk about i just wanted to share this with you guys if there is more stuff i'll have it cycling through the end of this video with maybe some music but i'm just gonna stop blabbing on right now hopefully you guys enjoy let me know if you guys got any of the new weapons let me know how they feel or if you guys like this new content and blah 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 people have very strong opinions about this game as always guys i'm center skater be sure to subscribe for future gaming and call duty content if you guys are not already like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. My name is Center Skate. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.